Today we're back at Multitrade Distributors headquarters in Edenvale, where we're going to be having a chat to their sales director, Mark Lotta, about the Maldino range of products and what they offer to the mold and dye industry. Mark, thanks for having us back at Multitrade's head office. Today we'd like to talk to you about Maldino solutions for the mold and dye industry. Welcome back, Lee. We really appreciate the, the opportunity again. Um, basically, what happened roughly two years ago, Mitsubishi Materials Corporation acquired a major shareholding in the then Itachi Tool and Engineering, um, which gave rise to the company Mitsubishi Itachi Tool and Engineering. Their marketing teams have become involved, and to create a segmentation in the industry, they've started rebranding the product, the old Itachi product, as the Moldino brand. Basically, what it is, is you've got mold and dye on the one side and innovation on the other side. They've brought them together to create one name, Moldino. Uh, and this clearly defines their strategy going forward about focusing on the niche market, that being tool and dye, and being one of the world leaders in that product for those industries. Let's take a look at some of the tooling that we have here today, Mark. First of all, the high feed cutter. What makes this one so special? This product was launched by Hitachi by Maldino under the Maldino brand roughly about 18 months ago. It's um, a new, new developments in the high feed for, for Hitachi. What they've moved to, they've moved to a negative style insert which, which becomes very cost effective because you've got four cutting edges. Um, they come in, in the South African market we're mainly introducing two grades, the JP4120 for steel applications, cast iron and heat treated materials and as well as the JM4160 more for your stainless steel and, and, and heat resistant materials. Um, they come in two different chip breakers, you've got your B chip breaker which is more for your, in, uh, for your stable, uh, unstable cutting conditions where you where the, the less rigidity on the actual components itself and for your stainless steels where you need a sharper cutting edge. Then you've got the C breaker which is more for your bigger machines, extra tool life and, and obviously uses a lot more power. If we look at the tool, the tool body itself, all the bodies are through coolant. They come in range sizes from a 16 to a 40. In the two modules, you've got your straight shank as well as your modular system, your screen type, and they also supply all the holders, your, all the extended holders for the modular system as well. Um, like I said, well, one of the major developments with this is you've got quite a big pocket for chip evacuation, and the unique geometry of the insert also evacuates the chip more at an elevated angle and away from the cutter body, which allows, which stops the cutter from peaking when you go up against vertical walls or into tight corners, which was always with the conventional high feed was always a problem with chip jamming, damaging the inserts. Um, what else, what, what other unique benefit of the cutter is if you look, they call it the high pre, which is the high precision two millimeter radius. In the past, your high feed cutters always had an in feed angle, which left quite a lot of material in, in the corners or on the, on, the, on the faces at the bottom of your pockets. With this cutter, it's a really a true 2 mm radius, which leaves a lot less material to be machined. And in a lot of cases, where with the conventional high feed, you would have gone to a, maybe a rest rough after your roughing, you can now go straight to a semi finish or a finishing case in, in, a, lot of, in a lot of cases. So really, really a good cutter for metal removal uh, across, the, across the range in, in, mold and, in mold and dye. And then we have the ASM two-corner insert. The ASM is another range of cutters that we've introduced to the South African market under the Maldino, under the Maldino branding. It's a very universal cutter. It begins in a straight shank type from a diameter, from a diameter 8 right the way through to a 21 with your cylindrical shank. And in your modular system, it goes from an 8 up to a 32 millimeter cutter. What's very unique about this cutter, all the bodies are through coolant and what also makes it very unique is that the insert geometries that you can get for this. In the JDMT range of inserts, they come in a 0.2, a 0.4 and a 0.8 radius as well as the, the JM4160, JP4120 grades as well as grades for aluminium machining as well. So you can machine really all types of material with this. But what makes it very nice and very interesting for us in the market, if you put your EDMT insert, which is a unique geometry insert, with a 2 millimeter radius, it actually turns into a high feed cutter. So therefore, from a 7 mil, from an 8 millimeter cutter, you have a high feed option with the 2 millimeter, with the 2 millimeter radius. We've had excellent results with these and, and stability wise and, and metal removal rate wise, as well as in a large, large amount of cases, we actually replace solid carbide cutters with a lot more cost effective way of, of roughing material. So really, really a good cover, really a good cutter. Solid carbide end mills. 
Um, Mark, Multitrade have always had a very good range of solid carbide end mills. What have Maltino brought in their product range? Yeah, it's true what you say. Uh, Multitrade Swiss has had a, a massive range of solid carbide in the past with very good quality, high end quality for the mold and dye industry as well as general engineering. What Maldino brings to the brand is a new coating technologies. They've just launched their new TH3 coating, which we have implemented at some customers and that can machine up to 72 Rockwell. At the moment, it's only in on, in, on, on one of their ball nose variants of the cutters, but it will filter out throughout the, throughout the range. Um, the older, the ATH coating can also do up to the 70 Rockwell and we've had some really, really good results with those 0.8 millimeter cutters with 12 millimeter neck lengths and they go right down to a 0.2 millimeter cutter within the, in that, the EDPR range, which allows you in a way to get away from spark eroding, which is very expensive, very time consuming and reduces cycle time as well. So that, that was a massive, really, a massive advantage to the market. The, one of the new ball noses they've just released is, is a PN coating. It's a six flute ball nose. It's for purely for finishing. It comes from a R3 diameter six up to a diameter 12 or 6 and it allows you to finish finish machine at up to 20 meter table feet. So this is where, where they're going in, in Japan at the moment and obviously they'll, they'll filter through to the other markets. Um, another one just for interest sake, the other day a customer was looking for a 30 micron end mill and we were able to supply through through Itachi. So they go right from there right through a massive range, bull nose, ball nose, whatever you need, in, any material, they've got uh, ceramic end mills for machining ink canal, they've got uh, aluminium range, they've got all of the range for composite materials as well. So they really add to the range and I don't think there's another supplier in the country that can supply the range that multi-trade can supply. Thread milling is something I always enjoyed when I was selling tooling mark, especially helping the customers realize the benefits of changing over from conventional tapping to thread milling and the potential cost and time savings. But tell us about this EDT thread milling system from Maldino. Thanks, Lee. Uh, EDT thread milling has been very exciting adi uh, addition to our to our product range. What makes this product really unique is it is uh, you can see it's a, a left hand cutter which allows you to climb all from the top of the hole down. What's also unique from the cutting geometry, it can machine into solid material, so you no need for a pre drilled hole. The coating and the geometry and the substrate make it uh, able to machine in up to 66 rockwell. So it can machine into 66 Rockwell, into a blind hole and form the thread. Right from an M2, right the way through to an M6, to an M12 as standard, an M16 and an M20 are made, are made to order. So it's really nice for us. We've had some really, really good results with these, with customers that actually came to us. They had um, Ormox material that was laser cut. They could, nobody else could thread it. We put the EDT thread mill in there and the thread mill, no problem. Three times the tool life of anybody that came close to us. So it is really, really a good product and it's something that we're starting to move more and more and we're carrying X stock at the moment as well. A great range of tooling focused on the mold and dye industry, but also for anyone wanting to benefit from reduced cycle times. Get hold of your local multi-trade distributor for more information or to arrange a demo.